The Martyrian Melody Imagine a cafeteria Drinking good coffee And hearing a little night music K525 a little by music Think about the places that someone can hear this beautiful tone Almost everywhere But someone can think on hearing the same melody or other in a concentration camp? No one can think of this possibility, because it is difficult to relate this context. Many do not know how important was music in the times of terror. Nazis used music to the treatment of Jewish people in the concentration camps. They used music to humiliate it, torture and display the dominance over the sibling inferior race. This incredible invention can play with feelings as it pleases in an impressive way, and someone needs to know how it was used. In chapter 4 of Ellie Wesley's Night, he related the arrival of the concentration camp's Bune, where on the fourth day he listened to the music near the entrance to the camp. It was the block of the orchestra. Each concentration camp had to have an orchestra and a chorus, either of men, women, or children. The melody that is played is called War Year More Leader, in addition to the first songs composed in the concentration camps, it the most famous at the time, Alejandro Albonat, 09-11-2013. It is a song where its lyrics says the hope of returning home, and confirms the fear they have and the hell in which they live. The art of just combining the notes well turns the music as an accompaniment that tells the feeling of the composer. So not only the lyrics talk about it, also the melody. Ellie does not tell us exactly what he felt when he heard the song. However, all the melodies had a feeling in common, the desire that everything returns to be as before. According to the movie Hitler, The Race of Evil, Hitler was a lover of classical music, especially by the composer Wagner. This is the main reason that there was musical background in the concentration camps. The Polish survivor Severina Smotliska recalled on one occasion. And the night concert begins. The cries of the SS men. The moans of the battered and tearful children that come from the railroad cars are mixed with the melodies of the Spanish dances, serenades, and sentimental songs. Julian Browner, 2016 However happy the melody is, if it's combined with those terrible moments, it can become a psychological torture. Just imagine a happy melody, for example... Carnival of the Animals final. Can be for us vivacious and glad things will come to our heads. For a survivor, that same melody may remind him countless shots, people behind him, German Shepherd barking and corpses everywhere. That greatness that can touch however hears it, and bits of the compass of those combinations provoking inexplicable ick feelings. That is what caught Hitler from the adolescence. Because for there to be an artist, he know to appreciate music. In the essay, The Herald of Music, Pascal Kingor relates that the first time that Primo Levi heard the fan for playing Rosemunda at the entrance of the field, he represented with difficulty the nervous laughter that invaded him. Then he saw the prisoners return without strain, raising their legs like robots to the rim imposed by the music of the field direct by locks. Alejandro Albarán, 09-11-2015 Jules worked with this melody by Schubert in the enforced labor camp. It was used to mark a march, using the tempo of the melody as the sound of the feet hitting the ground, making it perfect and humiliating, because they obey orders only for belief in their religion and it must be perfect or the price is their life. The combination of notes can be used to express and reinforce a feeling of power. Thus, music in Nazi camps served as a necessary distraction and method of cultural survival for the victims. 
and simultaneously as a means of domination for the perpetrators. Guido Wagner. Jews were forced to do what the nationalists ordered them to, and they started to hate music when they saw it on their side. Nazi guards ordered Jewish musicians to compose and to play their masterpieces. They could not play German compositions like Beethoven's arts, as it says in the book Night. Jews were not allowed to play German music. Page 49. Nazis considered them inferior. Jews were deemed unworthy of playing music of great German prowess, demonstrating their power over them. Composers had to be careful, because the songs could simply be rejected, and they could even be punished. Although the Nazis used tunes as a torture weapon, few Jews began to find a refuge in it, by using music to encourage and give faith to their comrades. Despite all these arguments, no one has the capacity to move people to those horrible moments, no one can feel that Jewish felt, but it's crucial to understand the importance of music in the Holocaust, the metaphor of life that was used as a martyrdom, torturing, humiliating, and showing power over a multitude of Jewish believers. Melodies used to the detriment of thousands of lives, with its sad and cheerful beats, and simultaneously saving lives.